And you like this time of year, Adam. You love it. And let's just say that their broadcast team has been strengthened. Yeah, right here. I am so fired up for this, you guys. Neil Leverett, he has been an anchor on ESPN for more than 20 years, and he's headed home, sort of. We're just going to call this step one in his journey to eventually bring the Oregon native back to the Northwest full time. Everett has been hired by the Trailblazers to be their new TV studio host for most of the road games this season. So ESPN fans, don't worry. He's not leaving you. Everett's still going to be uh, anchoring their late night West Coast editions of Sports Center as well. Without further ado, we bring in the man of the hour, Neil Everett. He is live over at Moda Center. Joining us now, and Neil, you and I met in Hood River some 16 years ago when ESPN was doing their 50 states in 50 days. I'll never forget, you were always just glowing about how one day you would eventually come back to Oregon. That door has now swung open for you. Congrats on that, my friend. How's it feel? Well, they say you can never go home again, but it seemed like a good time to do it. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, Adam, because I know you're from Astoria. My parents grew up in Astoria, so this has always been in my DNA to get back here. I was, I was born at Good Sam, went to Willamette, went to U of O. My dad took me to my first Blazer games when I was a teenager. I've been in love with the franchise ever since. I got my best Jack Ramsey jacket here, <laughs> and uh, I'm raring to go. I feel like... I feel like I'm doing an interview for somebody else who got hired by the Blazers because I cannot believe my good fortune. Right. So the, the big question everyone wants to know is, are you going to be doing these remotely from L.A. or traveling back and forth? Inquiring minds want to know. I'm traveling back and forth. That's how dedicated I am. Wow. I'm traveling back and forth. So it's interesting that the first Blazer road game is in L.A. at Staples Center right across the street from ESPN. I'm flying up here to do the game with Orlando and bring it to our viewers on Root Sports. That is amazing. Well, you told Trailblazers.com earlier today that you're going to have some nervous energy. We can already feel it in your voice right now. As someone who had that very position for six seasons with the Blazers, I can assure you it will never fade, Neil. It will never fade. Well, I had a good friend of mine, Joe Donlin. He said, hey, man, if you're not nervous about your new job, then you, you picked the wrong new job. So yeah, I've been, for the last three days, I've been like, oh my God, my stomach. I am so nervous. I want to do well because I know how important Portland is to the fabric, the trailblazers are to the fabric of Portland and to the state of Oregon. And, and I'm a fan just like the folks watching. So I want to, I want to do them right. Hey, do you feel like you've been part of like a press junket like today, interview after interview? <laughs> I, I, I feel like, again, I feel like I, I'm doing interviews for somebody else that got hired by Portland. So I'm just glad to step in for whoever they hired. Oh, it's me. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> well, if there's one thing that cannot be lost with this new role with the Blazers, it's that you don't lose any of your Clatsop County references. I know they're at the top of your mind. So give me a 10 tiny T's, a Pronto Pup, a Knutson Insurance. <laughs> oh, exactly. If I wasn't here doing the, doing this, I'd be down at the Kingston right now. Okay, or right, there you go. So I, I, I'm I'm going to bring the Clatsop County. I'm going to bring Multnomah County. Uh, uh, I'm going to go down to Eugene and, and and bring the Cooler and Rennies up to Portland. So we're bringing we're 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 unloading them all. The world is your oyster, Neil Everett. Congrats on the new gig with Blazers Broadcasting. You will absolutely crush it. And uh, everyone in Oregon and beyond cannot wait to see your work. Thank you, my friend. I'm blessed. Thank you.